about a week ago, I got an email that said missing a drone. Immediately I started freaking out because we had just lost the drone in Newport Beach, you know, a week prior to that, and he included his phone number, so I texted him. He said that a construction worker friend of his found it, and he was gonna originally sell it, and then he told his friend, no, let me try to find the original owner. You know, give me a little bit of time, see if I can track down who the owner is. So the guy looked at all the footage on the memory card, and he was able to see some footage where my truck was in it. You could see my license plate said Lewish. So we Googled Lewish and found my company website. So through that method, he was able to get a hold of me. He shipped it off to my house. He, he paid for the shipping and just said he was gonna include the receipt and to reimburse him. And uh, it, it was just amazing. It was It's amazing to see the that there's people out there that still, you know, will go the extra mile to, you know, to return something to its owner. And here it is right here. It had everything, it, it had actually landed just, just fine. And um, we've already flown it a couple times. The thing that's interesting is why I lost it. This is the DJI Phantom 3 standard. And the only way that the phone connects to the remote is over Wi-Fi, whereas the other ones actually have a a USB port on the back of the remote where you could then hook up your phone through the cable. So connecting through this Wi-Fi, for some reason, um, this drone especially just disconnects all the time. And what happens is you no longer have any uh, information coming from your phone. The, the flight, I mean the actual video of it, uh, how far away it is, what direction it's facing. Um, but what I did discover is that when that happens, the remote actually still works. Now this, this means if you have line of sight, you can easily just fly the thing home. Now there's no return to home button on the remote itself. The return to home function is actually sent from the phone to the remote and then the remote sends it to the drone. So I've been trying to figure out a way to um, because that's how I lost it originally. So what happened was my phone disconnected from the remote and then so the aircraft just thought that it was everything was still fine. The aircraft didn't even know my phone wasn't disconnected so it was just hovering. Well because I can still control it by moving the dials as I was hiking the mountain and trying to get to the top of the mountain so I can look over all the edges to try to find the drone I had this attached to like my hip and I was probably hitting the remotes a lot while I was walking. And as a result, I actually have the footage from the drone that got recovered to me, um, and, and it still has the memory card, and it was recording the whole time. So I actually have footage of when the drone was either getting to its final battery point, or when the drone um, finally disconnected from the remote, and then started its return to home. So, um, so, so it flew over and it ended up landing in this guy's backyard in like his side yard. And these are like, you know, $5 million homes. So it's not like I'm gonna just go hunt around. I mean, it ended up only being a block away from my car, but there was no way that I knew where it was. I, I would have actually thought it was completely the other direction. But because it was on its way to flying to home, and in addition to me, uh, moving the joystick, it was probably landing and I was moving the joystick at the time of its landing so it, it didn't land at its return to home, it landed farther away. So, and I didn't even realize that was happening so I did a couple tests when I was uh, over like a big grass field I would, um, I would launch the drone from my, uh, you know, set the home point to where I am and then I would fly the drone away like, you know, 100 feet away. And then what I did to test it is I completely shut the remote off. So once you shut the remote off while this thing's flying, this thing loses connection obviously with the remote and it, and it knows to return to home if it can't find the remote. So this will then go to its altitude level, face back to where your home point was, and if you can start to see it, you can just turn this right back on and then this would reconnect back to the drone and then you can continue the flight. Now, when the phone disconnects from the transmitter or from the remote, I don't know how to get those two to automatically connect back to each other, but 
This one constantly disconnects from my phone, so I just know that when I fly this one, I just have to make sure I'm line of sight, and when I fly that one, that one's just safe. I might probably eventually uh, completely delete the app and reinstall it and reset everything up and see if it fixes the problem, but um, so as of right now, I've been just flying my old one, which is a lot more reliable. So the guy who found it for me, his name's Steve, and he uh, sent, contacted me, reached out to me, made sure I was the rightful owner, and then shipped it off to me. And I had it like within a couple days of first contact, so that was really amazing to see how great some people are out there. Thank you.